lights, guys. Sudhir ji, see, I need you to be full fire on this scene. Full fire. Okay? Guys, come on, clear the field. Are you ready? Are you ready, sir? Let's go. Clear the fields now. Hey, hey, dressman out here. Hurry up, friend. Yes. Hey, make up, hurry up. Hey, make up, hurry up. Make up out, out. Out. Everybody silence. Sudhir sir, ready? Order. Yes. Start sound. Silence. Rolling. Camera. Clap. And... <coughs> Sudhir sir, move away. Oh, what happened? What happened? What, what has the light been done? Oh, God. Sudhir sir, are you hurt? Are you, are you all right? Are you hurt? What? I'm fine. Nothing is right. Sudhir sir, Sudhir sir, what are you looking here? Go behind him. Who is there? Anna, where are you, Anna? Hey, Pandu, you could not fit the light properly, or what? What are you telling to him now? You should have been there. What are you doing here? Are you drunk or what? So what do I do? Do I keep a man for every light? Tell producer to keep bowmen. Where we have men here? Don't argue with me unnecessarily. What would you do if someone would hurt? Would you be responsible, idiot? Vishal. Sir. Vishal, come here. What's happening? Sir, that... What's happening here? Sir, that... No, what are you guys doing here? Every time I organize a shooting, something goes wrong and I have to cancel the shooting. Who bears the loss? Me and only me. Nothing on earth changes for you. Now, will you tell me what happened? What's the problem? Sir, you are unnecessarily getting upset. Nothing happened, sir. Just that all of a sudden a light fell down. What? A light fell down suddenly and you are saying nothing happened? Sir, thank God that no one was hurt. And anyways, I am resuming the shooting, sir. I have sent Imran to call the hero. Hey, Imran, where are you? Hey, call your hero quickly. First, he hardly gives dates and then doesn't turn up on You're time right? on the set. Call him quickly. Hey, call your hero fast. Neither he commits a date properly nor comes on time on set. Call him fast. Sir, Mr. Sudhir has left and told before going he won't ever work on this set. What? Now listen to this. I have spent so much money on this set and now this nonsense. Hell. Sudhir sir had left so we have to cancel today's shooting sir, isn't it? You are not understanding the point. Mr. Vishal Dutt, it's not about today's shoot getting cancelled. You didn't hear what he said? Your hero has left a message that now onwards he will never ever work on this set. Sir, I have an... Hey, what are you listening? Go and do your work. Please go from here. Sir, if you don't mind, shall I say something? Go ahead. Sir, this... This is Sudhir ji. You yes. replace him, sir. Replace him, sir. You mean to say that I should replace my film's hero, Mr. Sudhir Kumar, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Vishal Dhar, I have an idea. Please, sir. It's a very brilliant idea. <laughs> you will be happy to hear it. Why not replace Vishal Dutt, the director of this film, <laughs> right? Isn't it? Sir, you are Bloody taking it other way, sir. I am thinking about your well-being, sir. You are not thinking of my well-being. You remember, uh, Usha, you had signed up for the heroine? She too left for her heavenly abode. I had to reshoot more than five to six trees. Do you remember or no? Yes, How much loss yes, I had sir. suffered? Yes, and then I signed Niharika. Hardly my film is progressing and you want me to replace the hero. How will I complete my film? Will someone tell me, damn it? You have to do it, otherwise you will be in a big trouble, sir. Please listen to me, sir. There is a newcomer, Alok. He's very good, sir. You can sign him up. Oh, that same Alok whose last small budget movie was a hit? Yes, sir. You're right. Uh -huh. When Usha was alive, she too had once suggested his name. Sir, please listen to me. In few years, this guy will start taking three to four crores. He will become superstar soon. Is it? Hmm. Okay. That means... All that is fine, Vishal Dutt, but you are not understanding. My problem is different. My problem is the story of my movie, which runs from young age to the old. <laughs> hey, sir. Your problem is solved. Alok is already young. We can easily make him old. Mm -hmm. But to this old and senile Sudhir, sir, how will I show him young? He has gone old, sir. Let's leave him, sir. Replace him. Whatever you say, Vishal Dutt, your idea is really, really great. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's do one thing. Yes. Tomorrow, let's sign Alok. Okay, Done, sir. And let's pack up today. Okay. okay. Come on, let's guys. Go, hurry sir. up. Put up the tables.
Thank God, no one was, or else it would be fatal. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Alok. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you doing? Absolutely fine. Hey, why are you standing? Please yeah. sit. Yeah, Vishal. Please sit. I'm just a kid in front of you. Come on. Hey, Alok, sir. Today's kid can be tomorrow's superstar. That was really good. <laughs> That's Bachchan, sir. I'm just Alok. Bachchan, sir, is a legend. <laughs> By the way, I went through your script. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you liked our story, then uh, let's talk about remuneration. Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, Shall I go out? Oh, where are you going? Give me moral support. Sit. Sit. Um, look, sir. I take 70 lakhs from the market. Huh? <laughs> hey, but don't worry. I will take 55 Correct. lakhs from you. Uh, Mr. Alok, see, the thing is, I am a very small and an extremely poor producer. I have Please. started establishing myself. On top of that, I have been facing lots of difficulties. You can ask him. See, look, you are the only one who can save me now. Please, please do something, please. Uh, then, you guys only suggest. Uh, Mr. Alok, I have a scheme. Scheme? Yes, please. Let's do one thing. I am going to sign you for my one more film today. Package deal? It's the era of marketing after all. There is a saying, buy two and get one free. <laughs> <laughs> Gyan, sir, do you know you just slashed my rates to 50%? Uh, it is not like now, that, sir. Uh, in 75 lakhs, both the films. Hmm? Done. Thank you so much. <laughs> So now let's. Yeah. Uh, Jivan. Yes, sir. Come here. Yes, sir. Jivan, Gyan, sir, Vishal, sir. Okay. That's Jivan, my assistant and secretary. Oh. Thank you. Uh, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. About the dates and the money, you can talk with him. Okay. Okay. Vishal, sir, I'm going to work for the first time with you. I'm honored. Oh, it's our privilege. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's time for my gym. I have to leave. Oh, sure, sure. Hmm? Hey, you guys okay, sit. Thanks. Please. Please. <laughs> Jeevan, take care of them. Yes, hmm? sir. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. All the bye, best. Jeevan, brother, please sit. Please sit. Can I tell you something? Thank you, sir. Your hero is a hit, super hit. And very soon, you are going to be a star secretary. That's Mark right. my words. Remove the diary and yes, give yes, me the dates sir. now.
Park the car there. Yes, hi, how are you? Where is Vishal? Let's go. And Hello, I listen, I'm already in lots speed. of crisis. Exactly. I will speak to you uh, tomorrow. It will be full okay, speed. speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Good, good morning. morning. How are you, Gyan, sir? How is it a good morning? Vishal ji, this is a bad morning. What happened, Gyan, sir? Pal, bad omen is not going to leave us so easily. We are running out of luck. Oh, tell me what had happened. I am coming from care nursing yeah. home. That our new hero. Yeah, it is his first day of shooting. Where is he? How can he do any shooting for you? Doctors have said he can't even stand on his feet for six, seven days. How can he shoot for you, man? <sighs> but, sir, what will I do about Niharika's dates? So what do I do? Look, Vishal, you will have to oh, talk God. to Niharika about the dates. I can't help you in this. Another thing is, this time I'm not going to change the hero, even if I have to change the director. What the hell is this? He goes to the gym to exercise and while doing bench press, the full weight falls on his chest. Huh. Now it seems I only have to talk Niharika about the dates. Then do it. Hi, Vishal. <laughs> um, hi, Madhu. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Madhu. How are you? <laughs> I was saying even you, I'm here. Meet me as well. Namaste, Gyanji. Only Namaste won't do, Madhu. I am not so nice. Huh? I am a smart <laughs> lad from Pahad Ganj, remember? Your habit of hugging has still not gone. Can I tell you something, Madhu? You know there is a proverb in English language. Old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> so then be it. Wow, I'm glad, I'm glad. How have you been? <laughs> I am good, you say. I'm fine. Now tell me what brings you here? Um, Gyanji, I'm writing an article on Osha Mohini. You have already worked with her in the past. And that accident also happened on your set. Do you know why she committed suicide? Oh. Uh, uh, look, Madhu, I have already been extremely stressed. For some reason, my shootings are getting cancelled every day. I am incurring a lot of losses. And uh, listen, Usha has already left this world. So why to talk unnecessarily about her death after she's gone, huh? But I've heard that her death wasn't a suicide. What do you know that how she died? If you know better than us, then you please tell us that how she died. Gyan, sir. She is talking utter rubbish, Gyan, man. Gyan, sir, if you allow, can we back yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, let's back up. There is no work here today. Back up quickly. Leave for your homes. Hey, switch off that light above my head. Hey, let's back up everything quickly now. Let's go. Quick. Yeah, speak up. Sir, Inspector Tokia has come to see you. Okay, send him in. Okay, sir. <sighs> hey, come in, Inspector. Come in. Have a seat. Tell me what I can do for you. 
gyan ji things are getting more complicated for you i didn't get it i'm here to inquire about that electrician's death at your location look inspector i want to tell you something that man you are talking about he was a part of the studio he was not our staff we had just gone there for shooting and uh, what went wrong over there what machines were faulty or which wire caused short circuit i don't know anything about this if you have to inquire about this then uh, you should ask the manager of the studio that i will ask from him if you remember few days back uh, on your set only your heroine usha moini had committed suicide and on the same day a light had fallen down from the top it was in good fortune that no one was standing down otherwise it would have been fatal ganji why all these accidents happen on your set today an electrician has died is it that you have an enemy and he is doing it all purposely sir i i never thought about this aspect inspector you are 100% right now imagine first that heroine died then i changed the last hero and signed a new hero and now imagine while working out in the gym the weights fell on his chest you are absolutely right inspector please do something and help me please otherwise if these accidents keep happening it will destroy me completely please do something for me okay let me see for now i'm going to studio uh, thank you so much oh god lights see from here it will go to there and the next scene hi vishal what's up oh very good morning sir how good are you morning. i'm already from my side now just waiting for your hero he had given time of 9 now it's already 10 he must be on the way i got a call while i was coming he must be stuck in traffic i'm only worried about one thing gyan sir like every time this Hello. time also an accident think positive my friend i don't need enemies after having a friend like you vishal sir look he's here <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay praise the lord praise the lord i'm i'm so sorry due to that accident your shooting got delayed oh let it be leave that aside now are you totally fit <laughs> absolutely fine if you are fit then our film is hit <laughs> now you get ready first shot okay. is yours imran bro take him yeah uh, quickly get go. the hero ready quickly Just give me come on okay. minutes. come <laughs> my friend vishal now i think there's no one who can stop our film from completing Correct. hey praise the lord is. is the scene ready scene of after shoot kar de Hey. Oh there. Read the scene. Ah, uh, which base is this? 625. I have 655 mark. I'll get that. Zoom is ready. Only here to sir. All the lights of the makeup room are blown, and Alok ji is injured badly. Huh? Oh my God! Run fast! What happened to my hero? What happened? Have uh, a look quick. Come on, fast. Alok sir, uh, Alok, Alok sir, what happened? Alok, Alok, Alok sir, hurry up! Call the ambulance. Call uh, doctor. Hurry up! Call the doctor, please. Call ambulance fast. your eyes just made it sir but for now you have to take care at least for 10 to 15 days you have to stay away from bright light okay 
Thank God that you are not hurt directly on your eyes. Uh-huh. Otherwise, you are at a danger of losing your vision. Doctor sir, pain will go, right? Yes, yes. But you have to take care. For ten to fifteen days, you have to take precautions. Any other medicines? I will write a few okay. medicines later. Chela Ramani ji, praise the Lord. Cut, cut the crap. What am I listening? What am I listening? I'll be devastated like this. Then you tell me, Chela Ramani ji, what do I do in this situation? Do whatever you have to do. I said whatever. I don't care. Don't forget, I'm your financier who has invested fifty lakhs rupees already, and there is no progress in your film. You changed the heroine, started again shooting with another girl. Now changing hero and again we will shoot. Are you planning to bankrupt me? Huh? Uh, listen, Gyan Prakash. Yeah. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Who is your director? Tell me his name. Huh? Mr. Vishal Dutt. Yes. Whoever, whoever. He is the most unlucky person for you. Kick him out. Kick him out. Oh, oh. what are you saying, Jela Ramani ji? Vishal Dutt is not only a good human being but also a super director. No, no. He is also my childhood friend. How can I replace him? Okay, sweet. And then do one thing. Tell me, sir. Better you kick me out. Oh, talk positive, Mr. Chela Ramani. I will do it. Please listen to me. What the hell? happened to my car Everything is all right. Why it is not starting? Oh. Oh. Oh, what's going on? ज्ञान प्रकाश दैट ही शुड चेंज डायरेक्टर विशाल दत्त नाउ यू हैव फॉर्गोटन माई वॉइस इज वेल आर यू उषा मोहिनी माई गॉड प्लीज प्रोटेक्ट मी माई गॉड सटनली उषा मोहिनी इज स्पीकिंग इट डज नॉट साउंड लाइक इट इज माई वॉइस इन डीड Don't tell me, but you are already dead. How can you speak, huh? Why I am not able to see you, huh? Why are you not coming in front of me, huh? If I appear in front of you, you will also die. Don't come in front of me. I don't want to get die so early. Don't come. Don't come, please. <laughs> so whatever I say, listen carefully. 
Why don't you speak now? Tell me what do you want? So you have to change your decision, okay? Done. I have already changed my decision. I have changed my decision. My director will be Vishal only. My director will be Vishal only. Are you happy now? Huh? Yes. I am happy. Go. Now I forgive you. Thanks a lot, God. <laughs> My friend Gyan sir, you can't do this to me. This is a matter of my career and also about my reputation. And you know this very well that whatever is happening, it's not because of me. Why don't you try and understand my point, Mr. Vishal? Listen to me. We have come a long way. That's what. We have been friends for years since our childhood. What are you even saying? Why don't you understand my current situation, my dear? That financer of our film, that Mr. Chela Ramani, he has told me clearly that if I don't remove you from this film, he will quit the film. Now you tell me, if he leaves my film, then am I not in a deep soup? I will have no choice but to beg on the roads. No, friend, I won't allow this to happen. But what do we do? Can we do one thing? Shall I talk to him personally? Yeah, you try. May God bless us. Hello, Chila Ramani sir. This is Vishal that's speaking. Oh yeah, Vishal, Vishal, my dear friend, how are you? Then sir, why have you asked Gyan sir to... Oh, you are the great director. Why you are talking about that? Life is so beautiful. Why don't you enjoy it? Then sir, why have you asked Gyan ji to remove me from the film? I am sorry. I am extremely sorry, friend. Who says you are not doing my film, huh? If I will remove you, I will remove myself. Uh, uh... What do you mean? You won't understand. Please let me talk to Gyan. Please. What happened? He wants to talk to you. Praise the Lord, Mr. Chela Ramani. Oh, my dear. I was just joking. You have taken it seriously, huh? Please don't make this mistake to remove Vishal, huh? I didn't understand what are you saying, Mr. Chela Ramani. How come you had this change of heart? There is nothing. Don't be confused. If I will tell you the truth, you will be shocked. It's very serious thing. And listen, only Vishal is directing this film. Yeah, all right, sir. Whatever you say will happen. <laughs> hello, hello. Weird. Hello, Madhu. Oh, hello. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> it's okay. Tell me, what would you like? For the time being, I've come here to get some spicy news. You know, there are other things apart from news. Yes, there are. I've heard that you're leaving Gyanchi's film. Hmm. You heard that right. And why is that? Look, Madhu. I'm an upcoming actor. And also a little superstitious. From the time I have signed Gyanchi's film, I had two accidents. And in both the accidents, I almost lost my life. At this point in my career, I don't want... A star to fade away before shining in the industry. <laughs> but Alokji, I think that you have been very lucky. I mean, you've taken a good start. And by the way, Usha Mohiniji, she was a big star herself. And she used to recommend your name. You're really lucky. <laughs> and I think that uh, I had seen both of you together a number of times. Listen, Madhu, let's not dwell in the past. <laughs> This is the speciality of this industry, Alokji. Everyone remembers the present. The present. And forgets about the past. And the future? Nobody knows anything about it. You're absolutely right. But I want to request you that. Usha ma'am used to recommend me. And you saw both of us together. Don't disclose this to anyone. Because I respect Usha ma'am a lot. And I don't want... people to... gossip about her. Anyways... I won't talk about it, neither about this or about your relationships with her. But I think, Alokji, that you should tell the media about this yourself. It would work in your favor. Usha Mohiniji's fans would support you. That depends on you anyway. <laughs> but this is for sure that you're not doing Gyanji's film, right? Right. I'm not doing that movie at all. <sighs> all 
All right, Mr. Alok. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> I'll leave hmm. now. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. Good morning, Gyanji. Oh, here you are, Madhu. Please sit, please. Sure. I was waiting for you only. Now you tell me, why have you called me here? <laughs> Kyanji, gossip spreads like wildfire. And especially in this film industry, if gossip reaches the common man, then you know how it is. Do you know that Alok is not going to do your film? Hey, talk positive, my dear. Talk positive. Why are you giving me such a bad news? Don't you know that I have just gone through a miserable streak of bad luck? That's why I've come here to warn you. The thing is that Alok is a very superstitious person. Can I tell you something? I have taken a lot of advance from the distributor against the name of Alok and Niharika. And now I don't have the capacity to return the advance. If whatever you are saying is the truth, then my doom is absolutely certain. Have patience. Losing your faith will not solve anything. Then you tell me, Madhu, what do I do? You speak to Niharika. Explain everything to her. She can convince Alok and bring him back as well. But how can you say that? You're forgetting that I'm a journalist, and I keep lots of information about these artists. All right. If you are saying this, then I'll speak to Niharika for once. I'll call her right away. Hmm. Sir, Niharika, ma'am, has. Uh. Okay. Uh, send her inside, and you don't go anywhere. Stay outside. Okay, sir. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm fine. Now I know why you have a big fan following. Huh. I don't have to live with them. They see me on screen. Talk about those people who live together and see me every day. Well, they are also your crazy fan. Oh, really? And you? Well, this you will have to ask to my heart. Then let it be. Perhaps that's why you left Gyanji's movie because in that movie. I am working instead of Usha. If you allow me, can this fan of yours say something? Go ahead, please. I am here to listen. Then listen. You are going to back out from that film. What? Yes. I have spoken to my two producers. They will sign you very soon for that film. Oh, really? Hmm. Ah, look. If this is the truth, and you are with me. So why one producer? I can leave many producers. That's great. That's what I expected from you. All right then. Only hand? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is happening with me, my lord? What's happening with me? I never thought bad for anyone. Always been kind to all. Then Why is all this happening with me? Huh? Who's it? Who is it? Who is it?
Who's there? Yes, Gyanji. I'm Usha Mohini. But just now, what I saw? What, what? What was that? What was that? This is the accident which the world believes had happened with me. But it was not an accident. It was the truth. It was a conspiracy to kill me. There were four hands who got me here forcefully. What? Yes, Gyanji. It was not a suicide. It was a murder. It was not a suicide. It was a murder, murder. It was not a suicide. It was a murder, murder. It was not a suicide. It was a murder, murder. It was a murder, murder, murder. But Usha, how come it was a murder? Because when that accident happened, there was no one except you on the floor. And as per police investigation findings, it was clear that there was a black mark only on your right hand due to electric shock. Nothing else on your body. And just now, what I witnessed with my eyes, that also explains the same. Kyanji, what you saw just now, the whole world, including police, thinks the same a truth. But the whole world and police believes in this truth, just because of my post-mortem report. Which clearly said I was pregnant. Usha ji, I was shocked after knowing that. I thought, fearing defamation from this society, you took life with your own no. hands. This is not the truth, Gyanji. I will tell you the whole truth. Do you remember, Gyanji, that day I had come to meet you in your office? Listen to me, Mr. Chela Ramani. Don't you get stressed about anything at all. Item song has been made really well. We are going to record it tomorrow itself. Right. You be assured that after this song, whole UP Bihar will be our fan. <laughs> I'll call you later. Right. Praise the Lord. Hello, Gyanji. Please come in. Please come in, Usha ji. Greetings. Wondering how come Moon is on Earth today? Why? Is there any problem in me coming here? Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Why will I have any problem? Please sit down. <sighs> If it was an issue of payment, you could have easily sent your secretary. Why did you have to take the trouble to come here? It's not like that, Gyanji. There is no such thing. In fact, in this industry, producers like you are very rare. Thank who you so have much. never troubled their artists in that matter. Correct? Look, Usha ji, you are also a rare gem in our industry. Now see, on one side it's you. On the other hand, our hero, Mr. Sudhir Kumar. If it was in his hands, he would have taken all his payment at one go. There is a matter, Gyanji. I shouldn't be saying that, but don't you think so that you have casted Sudhir ji wrongly for this role? Uh, what you are saying is right, Miss Usha, but uh, what could I have done? <laughs> Do you remember, Gyanji? I had told you before as well. There is a new guy, Alok. He is a brilliant actor. You should take him. Usha ji, I had also thought of him at first, but I was not too sure about the fact that will you work with a newcomer or no. And on the other hand, Mr. Sudhir Kumar ji is an established hero. Hmm. But now it's way too late to regret. Anyways, what is destined has to happen. You can't do much about it. 
ओके ज्ञान जी इज देर शूटिंग टूडे यस देर इज शूटिंग ऑफ प्रेम किशन जी कलियों का चमन सेम हीरो आलोक ओके ओके ज्ञान जी आई गोटे गो बाईज द लॉर्ड मिसुषा मिसुषा वॉट है What's happening? What's the matter? Gyanji, Susha, are you all right? Suddenly, what happened? Oh, Gandhi, uh, I felt dizzy. Uh, I'm okay. Actually, I have been doing shootings day and nights and haven't slept well. Maybe that's why. Usha ji, if you take my suggestion, stop working in these two three shifts. Work in only one shift. By God's grace, you are well off financially. Remember, nothing is as important as health. You are right, Gyanji. I was also thinking the same. Can I take a leave now? Ah, uh, sure. Let's go. <sighs> Miss Usha, you are sure you didn't have any urgent work with me? Yes, Gyanji. There's nothing like that. Just that your office was in route, so I thought I will meet you. <laughs> so nice of you. But take care of your health. Next week is our shooting. <laughs> Don't you worry, Gyanji. No one can touch your dates. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> okay, so. Okay, Gyanji. Praise the Lord. Hello, Usha Madam. Hi. Prabhakar, what happened? Why it's so quiet here? Usha Madam, didn't anyone inform you? Shooting is cancelled. Why? What happened? That our Mr. Goldie passed away. When? Just now the news came. Oh. Very sad. Anyways, where is Alok? He is inside. I think he spoke to you on the phone. He is yeah, waiting right. for you only. In the makeup room. Okay. Hi, Alok. Hello, my love. <laughs> hmm. Mm. You know, I thought you won't come today. I wasn't coming. If at all I knew the news of Mr. Goldie's death. Mm, I know, very sad. Uh, mm. Let's sit and talk. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Alok, now uh -huh. include me in your life without any delay. Hey, I don't have anyone except you in my life. Today, whatever I am. It's all because of you. Whatever work I'm getting, it's all because of your recommendation. Huh? Ah. Look, Alok. It's not like that. You are a very fine actor. That is why I recommended you. And yes, you have proved this also. Still, Usha, if you have a boat in front of you, then that person would be a fool to swim across the river, right? Look, Alok. I'm repeating this again. That I have recommended you is only due to your talent. and you are a very good person that's why you have made a place in my heart as well otherwise people can't even dream of holding usha's hand thank you your highness that you think i'm worthy of it hmm <laughs> alok i have taken two steps towards you now it's time for you to initiate next step oh yes why not <clears throat> Tell me, how many steps forward? <laughs> Alok, you will have to marry me. Uh, this will be another favor of yours. <laughs> you made me your friend. I wasn't worthy of that. <laughs> Now, you want to marry me? I'm not right for you. I know your word very well okay Now tell me will you marry me Madam I will have to think over it <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's so surprising that the matter reached till marriage Gyan ji in the manner he spoke to me that time I could not understand the meaning He had something else in his heart than his words. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vikas ji. 
प्लीज इफ यू डोंट माइंड हाय हाय आई होप यू आर एंजॉयिंग द पार्टी हे व्हाट आई एम हियरिंग दिस व्हाट हे हैव यू लॉस्ट योर माइंड जस्ट व्हेन योर करियर हैड टेकन अ लीप यू वांट टू मैरी एन एक्ट्रेस उषा हु इज अ लिटिल टू यू उषा थिंक अबाउट इट आलोक एक्सक्यूज मी He is telling right. This big fan following of yours, it carries women and girls more. You are going to break their heart. None of them will come to see your films ahead. Then what do I do? See, my friend Alok, do whatever I say to you. You will get lots of these type of ushas in your life ahead. This life is very much selfish, my dear friend. To save her sinking career, she got you to marry with her. and you also think and listen to me carefully if you were a sinking boat you are surely going to drown yourself devan what do you say boss now you do one thing you should call the producer of kalyonka chaman and ask him to remove usha from the film or else you won't work Alok sir I have been in the industry for long and seen the world very well and where this Usha madam is untainted <laughs> she has already changed many heroes look sir I don't do flattery at all Look, sir. Alcohol on the set. Huh? Hmm. Prabaka. Today I want to forget everything. I even want to forget that in my life there was a woman named Usha Mohini. Look, Prabaka. I agree that whatever I am today, it's because of Usha. But yesterday when you all told me that don't marry her I was forced to think over it I always wanted Alok my name to echo everywhere Alok 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 <laughs> But now It's not possible. Why do you say so sir? One day you will definitely shine like a bright sun. That's what I fear Prabhaka. That the sun shouldn't fade in the eclipse. Don't think that way sir. Till I am there nothing can go wrong with you. What can you do for me? I for you? I can give my life for you. <laughs> Sacrificing your life won't save my career. My career would be secured when Usha Mohini is put away from my life. <laughs> this is even more easier, sir. Indeed, this is easy, Prabhakar. But smart killers are those who prepare to protect themselves before killing. Prabhakar, make such a game plan. that our enemy is eliminated without any harm to us sir i have thought about a plan what would usha madam come right now over here quickly yeah why not and if she is on any shooting then i have a trump card which usha cannot be able to resist but prabhakar this secret should be buried between you and me understood Hmm. So Alok sir, I promise you that the obstacle in your career path is gone forever. Done. Good.
Prem sir. This is Alok speaking. Ma'am, you use hair spray so frequently. It's going to make your hair rough and dull. And yes, tomorrow there is that holy song as well. Your hair is going to be a mess. <laughs> I have a solution for this mess. <laughs> Ma'am, Mr. Prem sir has come to see you. Okay, ask him to wait. I will be right there. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Just put this properly. Uh, namaste, Usha ji. Namaste, Prem ji. You were getting prepared for the shoot. and i just came to disturb you huh no no i will just take only 5 minutes of yours no no it's okay you know i get ready from my home itself for shootings please sit thank you are prem ji why did you bother to come here all of a sudden i have already confirmed all your dates is there any problem usha ma'am since you have been in this industry must have solved so many problems of people <laughs> by getting obliged by you so many became producers so many got established as director so many boys became hero now usha ma'am today i am also getting stuck please will you solve my problem also what exactly happened prem ji please tell me <laughs> if there is any problem about payment You can simply sit with my secretary and solve it. And yes, I won't move the shooting dates further. <laughs> If you want, you can give the installments in next schedule. No, no, Usha ma'am. That is not the problem. The problem is I don't know how to tell you. <laughs> Just a minute. I have written everything in this letter. Please read it and whatever you will decide I'll accept. Let's see. What is this, Prem ji? How can you even think about this? Have you forgotten that I got the entire setup done for your film? No, Usha ma'am. I remember everything. Then what is all this? Try to understand. The actual situation is, when I signed Alok on your recommendation, he was nowhere. I tell you, but today. And what about it now? Usha ma'am, if he leaves my film today, I will be nowhere as well. I will be finished. What? This means Alok? Yes, Alok. Alok has threatened me. If I won't remove you, then he will leave my film. <gasps> oh my dear God, Usha, ma'am. After listening to all this, I'm really unable to understand what must I do. Gyanji, I also couldn't understand. That what should I do? When I reached the studio, pack up had taken place. Everyone had left. Only Alok and Prabhakar were there in the studio. I straight away met Alok. You dirty swine! What are you? What's even your identity? That you're getting me removed from this film? You got this film only due to me. You were so thankless. You forgot everything. What happened between me and you? Love, intimacy, and promises. Stop, Usha. Stop. You have spoken enough. Now listen to me. See, your career is at a downfall right now, and mine at the peak. Uh, I don't want to keep any relations with you. Did you get it now? And me? What about that? To the future that we thought about, which you brought upon ah, me. Ah, I shouldn't be blamed for it alone. You are equally responsible for it, and I don't even know if it's me or some other crazy fan of yours. Shut up! Till today, 
No one had dared to speak to me like this. You cheap scoundrel. You don't know. If I can build your career, I can also destroy it. And I will do that now. In this very studio, I will call a press conference now. I will make sure that you are doomed and bankrupt. I will do it just watch. Hmm. I knew that you will do something of this sort. That's why I have planned something for you. What have you done? I'm going to make a call right now. I will go and tell them in person. If I leave you, the whole world will come to know. Leave me, or else I will scream for help. Just yeah. go. Scream, scream your lungs out. No one can hear your screams. Leave me. Prabhakar. Leave me. Let's take Madam. Leave me. Uh. You scoundrels. Leave me. Come on. Move. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her tightly. Uh. No reason to get scared. Your path is absolutely clear now. There is no one here except me and you. Hmm. Let's go. And this way, Alok and Prabhakar together finish my life force. And with me, that little life force also taken away, Gyanji. I have already taken my revenge with that Prabhakar. He also died with the same electric shock. And I am responsible for his death. But, but Gyanji, but Gyanji, the real murderer is still alive. Alok is still alive. He is like that stale fish, which rots the entire pond. Gyanji, if he stays alive, he will destroy life's endless number of naive girls. Gyanji, I am troubling you only because. I want your help, Miss Usha. After knowing Alok's truth, I have come to this consensus that even if I have to scrape my film, I won't step back. Tell me, tell me what help you want from me. I want, I want that he should get worse death for the injustice he did with me. I am ready to do anything to punish a person like Mr. Alok. For the heinous act that he has done, I will tell you what I will do and what I have in mind for you. Ha <laughs> 
కొలు చెలరమని దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఫోన్ రింగింగ్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ సైన్ ఆఫ్ డేంజర్ హు ఇస్ స్పీకింగ్ ఓ మై గాడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఉషా మోహిని ప్రకాష్ ఫిల్మ్ they all should remove him from their film huh? you mean alok must not do the film directed by gyan prakash huh? no he neither wants to work in gyan prakash's film oh. nor letting niharika work in the film no problem you should not worry about i'll straight away go to alok and make him understand everything will you be happy by this or i will have to do anything else no that will be all but you have to do it quickly sure sure i'll do i'll do Niharika don't think about it call up Gyan Prakash and tell him that you're not doing his film that's it Hey you just stop don't make any call or you will repent i tell you Hello sir you're right on time what do you even by right time what do you think of yourself huh what do you think huh but sir what happened will i tell you the matter you have not become a star yet wants to change the heroine what do you think of yourself but sir what have i done how can you ask what you have done you are asking her to leave the gyan prakash film provoking her like that sir who told you this this is not at all your business is that true or not yes sir that's true but the thing Robert, is i don't have time to think understand mind it all the producers you are working for i am not going to finance them i'll just call no, them sir, sir please i will be doomed i will be ruined sir sir i came to mumbai with so many dreams sir mm, this is what i want i tell you how will you survive in mumbai i will ruin your life by every way remember my name is chela ramani chela ramani sir 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 please please sir i will be ruined sir who harms others remember he will harm himself one day and listen one thing carefully If you won't go in the shoot of Gyan Prakash, I mean, if both of you won't go in the shoot of Gyan Prakash, then I will ruin the career of both of you. I tell you, full stop. Hey, you girl, come here. Just come here. Where were you working before this film, like? Huh? Okay, Night Queen Club, and you must be working in the beer bar also, huh? I know everything. I'll throw you back, you know. And your hero Sir sir we will reach on time for the shooting So you are not obliging me okay I'll reach in the shoot I'll reach in the shoot <laughs> You know Miss Niharika I have decided that you will be the heroine of my next film for sure Absolutely it's my Asim. promise Yeah good morning good morning I will brief you the scene Hero is standing here Hey everybody silence please Hero is standing here back to camera Hero enters right of the camera and takes her in his arms and walks from here You come with me I will explain you He walks through here feels clear yaar He walks through here 
you start following him you start panning from here he comes out from here and get the girl at this place and can you see the board in the front 440 volts he throws the girl on the switchboard and girl gets the electric shock is it clear sir hey bro call alok ji fast i think this guy is for the sword fighting scene yeah good morning sir haha <laughs> good morning alok ji you read like this okay sir uh vishal sir this scene was not mentioned ha uh, last night i was sitting with the writer i found this interesting so thought let's set it but this clearly explains that i'm going to murder the heroine <laughs> right it looks like that but actually it is all going on heroine's mind it's her imagination oh uh but in this costume drama this switchboard 440 volt current all this <laughs> alok ji there is no logic ever in the comedy film when audience goes to watch a comedy film they leave the logic behind now you see when you throw this girl i mean heroine on the switchboard and she get shocked and we use special effects of computer to show and show that she reaches 21st century oh okay <laughs> so now you understood the shot girl hmm. is standing here hmm. back to camera hmm. looking there hmm. you enter from the right of the camera lift uh -huh. the girl in your arms huh. lovingly lifting her towards that side the girl doesn't uh -huh. do anything you take her there can you see that then walk ahead camera will follow you there uh -huh. and you will throw her on the switchboard okay simple are you ready yeah 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 hey quickly call the girl now okay see this this morning i got an sms from sharukh yeah yeah he's also from delhi we are close oh uh, okay oh, i can get you, you to sure? speak to sharukh you go and take a shot thank you so much <laughs> let's go both of your reaction would come sometimes her close up sometimes yours mm -hmm. then we will take a head close huh. of that board 440 volts when you will go over the <laughs> good morning good morning you are looking beautiful can i brief you the scene yeah. you already read the scene see so you are standing here camera camera is towards your back you are looking that side alok ji will enter from the right of the camera okay. will look you very much lovingly takes you in his arms lifting you walks towards that side and throws you on the switch oh. clear okay okay alok ji alok ji alok ji huh? what happened sir no nothing are you okay i'm okay then can we take a rehearsal what do you say yeah, yeah. yes sir uh -huh. okay come on full lights come on everybody very quickly clear the fields fast clear the fields come on madam you come here please alok ji huh? you will enter let's go okay please come silence everybody ready all alok ji ready madam ready okay cut sound rolling camera 10 by 1 take 1 action my queen today i'm going to lift you in my arms and take you in our bedroom cut 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 uh no you were quiet alo see what happened there you were walking towards the queen mm -hmm. but in your eyes that love affection that passion is mm -hmm. lacking and as you're walking from there the entry and the lines what you mm -hmm. have your given lines that should be matched can we try to do it okay okay, okay. Mm -hmm. let's try let's try yeah yeah let's do it i'm sure we will do it one more let's go ready alok ji yes sir silence start sound alok camera 10 by 1 take to action My queen Today I'm going to lift you in my arms and take you in our bedroom Come Cut Okay very sir, good, sir. <laughs> Very good Alok ji Excellent shot Very good very good Thank you sir Now uh can we move ahead Yeah Now after this once you have taken her in your arms we'll take it like mm -hmm. this lifting her up and turn that side that side and then you have to move towards okay. the switchboard Let's go Okay silence please Yes start sound Camera and action
Follow him. Follow him. Good. 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 Is it you? Yes, it's me. Vishal ji, I'm ready. Let's go. Miss Niharika, what happened to her? Usha, Usha, please forgive me. Usha, Usha, please forgive me, Usha. Why? Why are you stammering now? Tell me. When you threw me on the switchboard, that time you didn't even think twice. You are not only selfish, but also a low-grade bastard. Do you even know what you have done? You walked over love, friendship, and humanity to rise in your career. You have turned into an animal, a ferocious animal. You killed me. Along with me, you also killed our innocent unborn baby. How could you do that? And what do you think? That my murder will be considered as a suicide? Usha, Usha, it was a mistake. Please forgive me. Mistake? You name your sins and crime as a mistake? What did I ask from you? Do you know you did not even deserve me, Alok? Do you even realize I had put my entire career on stake for you? I could have killed you in the gym itself, but no. I'm going to kill you at the same place to show you that what you had done to me and whatever you did to me, I will do the same with you. No, no, Usha, no, Usha, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I am safe. This doesn't have a current. Usha, please forgive me. No, no. No. Usha, it was a mistake. Please forgive me. Thank you for helping me. 
and I got the justice. You asked the writer to add this scene and somehow convince Vishal Dutt for it. I have succeeded in my mission. My killer also died the same death as he had given me. Gyanji, I am free now. And now, I am going to make up for whatever loss has incurred to you. And you are the president of my trust. And you have all the right to use that money as per your will. Okay. Now I will take a leave from all of you. Thank you. As a director, no one will give me work. <laughs> hey Vishal, why are you taking so much stress? I'm still there. Huh? <laughs> Look, I am soon gonna start a new film for you. It's a promise. We already have our heroine, Neharika. Now all we need is a new hero.